what's up youtube photographer running straight uh, and this tutorial i'm sure you can easily edit your files and make those colors pop in photoshop so this is going to be a beginner friendly kind of tutorial and simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have not done the two or either of the two so this is the image that we have and right now we are in camera camera row and i'm using version 3.13.0 so I want to show you how you can easily process and get the best out of your files. So in order to edit your file, simply drag and drop the raw file into Photoshop and it's going to automatically come or open up the camera raw filter. You can simply right click on the raw image that you want to edit and simply select open with Photoshop and it's going to open up the camera raw filter like we have right here. So in order to edit or color grade your raw file, within camera first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues so for this we're simply going to come and open up the basic panel right here and under base you can see that the highlights right here are simply overblown out so what we're going to do we're going to come to the highlights and simply left click and take that down and that is going to recover the highlights in the image and we're also going to do the same for the whites and you can see that makes the image better and it eliminates the over brightened areas or the hot spots within the model space so after doing that we're just going to come and add a tiny bit of contrast because when i'm shooting i tend to take out the contrast in camera so i tend to add in contrast when i'm trying to edit the photos then i'm going to come and add some blacks to darken the darkest parts of the image and simply open up the shadows slightly and that makes the image look better so in order to get the best out of uh, your photo or your profile you have to also understand that you know the picture profile in which you shot your image so different cameras have different picture profiles so my case i use a canon 60 camera and the picture profile in which i shoot is adobe landscape or rather landscape but in camera row this is known as adobe landscape so when you do that it brings back most of the colors the camera captured in the preview image that you look at on your camera screen so i'll just come right here and change it to adobe landscape so this is for only people that shoot in raw and if i told you don't shoot in raw you won't be having this option that says profile so when you do that it kind of makes the image over saturated so we're going to come to our saturation and slightly take down the saturation of this very image just like that and also take down the vibrance a little bit to make the image look better so after doing that i'm just going to come back to my temperature slider right here and you can either change the white balance of the image if at all you want so for my case i'll slightly warm up the image because you know raw files are very easy to edit so after correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding your image we are going to come to the color mixer panel right here and this is where most of the magic is going to take place so we have different values so for other versions of camera you may find this known as the hsl panel but for newer versions it is known as the color mixer so under color mixer we have hue saturation and luminance luminance is the brightness level of a given color so you can darken the oranges or even brighten them then saturation is the intensity of a given color you can either increase the intensity of a given color or reduce on the intensity of a given color then hue is more of a shade of a given color depending on where you move the slider so for example the green slider right here or the greens if i take if i take the green slider towards the right hand side it's going to make the green color like the color below it which is the aquas and doing the opposite is going to make the greens like a color on top of it which is the yellows so basically that is how simply i can explain the hue option in camera row so what i'm going to do i'm first of all going to handle the hues of the greens because i want the model to stand out and pop out of the background and also make the image attractive so i'll just come to the hue of the greens and i make the greens more to the upper side and you can see that makes the model pop out of the background and I'll do the same for the yellows, just like that. Then after I have done that, I'm, I'll simply come to where it says oranges and reds. So remember in the skin tone, we have some amount of reds within that. So it, to eliminate the reds, we're going to make 
the red color within the skin tone more like the predominant color in the skin which is the oranges so i'll make the reds a little bit more on the orange side just like that and you can notice that it eliminates the reds within the skin tone and i'll make the yellows the oranges rather a little bit more on the yellow side just a tiny bit and the image now looks okay but now the greens in the background are slightly over saturated so what i'll do i'll just come the saturation and take down the saturation of the greens so that they don't compete for attention with the model in the photo and i'll do the same for the yellows and this is okay that's the before so far and this is the after so after doing that we're going to come down to where it says color grading and this is where more magic is going to take place so you can either add a given color to the mid tones shadows and highlights so for my case i'm just going to come to my mid tones and add a tiny bit of yellows or oranges just slightly so the closer it is to uh, the circum the circumference of this circle the more intense that color is going to be and the closer it is to the center so you left click hold down and you drag to see the effect I'm just going to add a tiny bit of yellows to the skin tone. Then I'll come to my shadows and cool down the shadows by taking the slider towards the blues. Just a tiny bit to cool down the shadows. I think uh, that looks okay. Then after cooling down the shadows, I'll simply come to the highlights and simply add a tiny bit of the greens to my highlights. I think that is okay and this is what we have before after before after and when you feel like the image is not okay for your liking you can come back to the basic adjustments right here and you can simply slightly increase up the exposure and uh, this is okay so always ensure that your monitor is showing the right colors because if at all it is showing you inaccurate colors it means even the end process for your color grading is going to be messed up so you can see what we have as the before after before after then you can proceed and open the image into photoshop to do the final skin retouching and final adjustments on your photo so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.